flow, love and light, goddesses and goddesses, kings and queens. Today is June uh, 13th, 2016. I know some of you saw my video when I talked about, um, I talked about that shamanism meeting that I went to and I thought that I was going to meet some uh individuals that were familiar with indigenous spiritual practices and that was not the case at all uh there was someone appropriating the word to shamanism they were really no more new age and uh religious which which was really a surprise to me uh, and some of the things we discussed I, it's hard for me it's very difficult for me to be around I want to, don't get me wrong, I like going out, meeting people, spiritual people, but I also like to stay in my frequency in the line of my ancestors. And so when I heard the word shamanism, because I was given an invitation to this individual's uh, house, I think we were like friends on Google or something, or meetup.com or something like that, because I, I, I am some, on some uh, spiritual groups at meetup.com. But I try to stay in the atmosphere of my ancestors when I do uh, when I do have interest in things because I know what I'm interested in and what I'm drawn to. I know I feel like I know my spiritual path. You know, uh, is to know more about myself and my African ancestors. So I want to be very true to myself and who I am. I don't want to escape outside of that because that's really who I am. Okay, because if you see my house, it's 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 all African based. If you look if you look at behind me, you can see. Uh, I'm just I love my culture, and that's just me. I, that it's I always been like that, you know. Start you know I always been proud to be a, a, a African person, you know. Uh, but I've always understood uh, the cautions, precautions I need to take as an African living in a Eurocentric uh, world. So uh, I went I went there and we talked about, you know, if I was not an African, if I did not know or wasn't strong in my spiritual path, I probably would have, you know, been strongly into this new age movement. But I have had... Uh, some drawbacks on some of the things that they talk about are uh, the fact that uh, this this new age religion they totally accept all religions they really do some of them really believe in this Jesus uh, person I, I just have to keep it real so as an African we know these 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 stories are not real they they come from Egypt and they have been plagiarized and been modified. And not for our not for our good intentions for Africans. Okay, so we have to be careful there. So, you know, get, getting back in the line and becoming awakened, getting back in the line of your ancestors is priority. And one of the things you don't want to do is go in, go back and make the mistakes, you know, or or, or grasp on to any of the hangups that kept our ancestors, uh, you know, oppressed, you know, or enslaved or enslaved them. So I don't, I don't, I try to stay away from all that religious stuff that really had a bad effect on my ancestors. So I try to stay away from that. And she started talking about, uh, you know, they talked about religion. I, I never made a comment. But it's so hard for me to sit around them, you know, and I be thinking sometimes, am I more awakened than them? You know, because I can't, these are lies. You know, uh, these are lies. So I can't participate in a discussion where these are not facts. These are more lies. And so we start talking about Palladians. And my thoughts on, on, on Palladians, you know, there are no aliens. You know, Alistair Crowley, their ancestor, talked about going in some type of a trance or in meditation. He talked to some um, being that would be called an alien. So you see where I'm going with this. And I noticed that they're always gray or white. 
Okay, they're always gray or white. I have a problem with them. And now they're saying that these aliens are biologically responsible for humans on this planet. Are you serious? Now, I draw the line right there because there is no evidence to prove this. Just like, you know, you put that out there that all humans come from apes. You know, again, you're, there's no, y'all have all this, you know, you're, you're saying this stuff instead of genetically and scientifically looking at the fact that all people come from African people. And even though, you know, scientists have told you this, you know what I'm saying? That's why I can't get down with that. You cannot be spiritually aware and loving if you do not accept these facts. Now, that, but the fact that you cannot accept this tells me that you are not spiritually mature. Okay? If you're not African and these facts bother you, then, you know, you need to look at yourself again and reflect. You really do. And I would not take that back. It doesn't mean that I don't love you. You know, you can love the wrong thing and it can hurt you. And let's be careful with that because, see, non-Africans love throwing that in here. Oh, let's just love. I do love. Just because I'm speaking the truth biologically, scientifically, and shattering the lies, that means I love you even more because I don't want you being reckless like that. Again, this is reckless behavior. You're pushing up on the masses, this uh, white, white superiority, spiritual dominance. Again, no, I won't let you do that to me. I will speak out about that because that's not, it's not true. It's not scientifically true. It cannot be proven. And that's what that is. If you will only take a look at that and how that looks. Because biologically, if there was aliens, and they're not, I mean, when I looked into that, there was one scientist said the more he, when he looked into aliens, that was nothing more than a paranormal haunted house ghost activity. That's what aliens are. They are not physical mani manifestations. That is what uh, this scientist said. Okay? That's why when you see these... these um, UFOs in the air, they can move, maneuver, and do the things that they do, and they're here and they're gone. They can pop out of in and out like that. They're, they're going in and out of dimensions, planes. Alistair Crowley talked about this. He said that they would be calling them aliens, these beings. So this is some, this is Eurocentric uh, theological culture. This is what they, they have created uh, in that, in that, that, um, theological organization that was called the Golden Dawn with Aleister Crowley and Madame Blavatsky in it. These entities, you know, these people, they they, they kind of created this new age thing, what it would be. Uh, what's her name? Something McLean. Something McLean. She's a, she's a, a, a actress. I can't think of her name right off, but she wrote a couple of, she wrote a book too on this, uh, this alien, you know, this alien thing. So, uh, I stand in line of my ancestors. Africans believe that we reincarnate through our ancestors. Our ancestors never die. They are present within us. Scientifically, this can be proven. This can be proven. See, that's why I like metaphysics. Spirituality is no type of spookism or something. It's not like that. Africans, our Africans have spirituality mapped down to a science. It's been taken from us, and so we're never trying to get it back. Or uh, we began to awaken our and our DNA is trying to send us messages through meditation. You know, um, they had it. They knew how to take the proper herbs. You know, to to go into different realms and to go on the astral planes and bring back. Uh, healing us uh healing medicines or whatever to heal heal each other they knew how to do that they had this map down to a science look at the egyptians look at some of our indigenous primitive tribes like the doggone tribe or even that can go to start to start effect uh uh, uh non africans the mayans they were african people too they look just like me y'all love mayan people i'm sorry i'm not trying to be mean but really 
These were our African people. They were dark skin indigenous people, Aboriginal people. So these people had this stuff, you know, there is no reason to, they did never talk about these. No, they didn't. So these are Eurocentric ideas. So Africans be very careful uh, out there. And I think I'm going to talk about this more because uh, I get such a negative response from non-Africans when I talk about this kind of stuff. And the fact still remains biologically, historically, that every people on the planet has learned from African people. And I will not shut up about it. No, I won't. It needs to be said. This this lets me know y'all need we need to be spiritually healed. We really do. If we if you cannot talk about this topic without you, you know, feeling negative about it, you know, these facts then you're not spiritually mature. You're really not. Now, I've gotten past the part where your ancestors have did some very, you know, negative thing to my ancestors that I can go on because I know about my spiritual birthright. There is no need for me to be upset because I know who I am and I know the power that I possess within me. So there's no need for me to be negative about it. In fact, it is very healing for me to talk about that very fact, knowing the gift that I have now, you know. So, I mean, I don't understand why you people get so upset about that, which leads me to believe, you know, we need to talk about that more, you know. So if you're a true healer, a light worker, you understand what I'm talking about. If you've had to hear somebody with emotional trauma, mental trauma, you understand what I'm talking about. I mean, I, I look at that. When I see you guys uh, act negative to that, I see that that's your ancestors. That's the spirit of your ancestors rising up in you like that. You don't even know that. You, you cannot, some of you cannot help but, but you know, react to that. You don't even see that. You don't even see where you need to heal in that area. You don't even see that. I mean, I just feel like, oh, my gosh, these people, they and I be I I try to take the higher ground, which you know that's the best thing to do. Always act out of your higher mind, even when people are being mean to you. When you know you cannot, you know, uh, respond out of your higher mind anymore. Digress. Don't don't engage in the conversation when it, anymore because now, uh, you know their ignorance is going to re, start to uh, project onto you. So you have to cut them off because by that time they're be, they're be trying to amuse themselves. With their ignorance, they're amusing themselves your, uh, through their ignorance, and when you you when you participate in it, you feed their ignorance. So I cut it off, but uh, it just it really does. It's just you you are not spiritually non Africans if you cannot talk about these topics and these facts without labeling this as racism or saying that it's not love. You know, we can love the wrong things. That's what happened. Your ancestors loved slavery. Does that mean that was right? Does that mean that was right? They loved slavery. They loved that. They did not want to let it go. Let's be real here. I mean, let's be adults. Let's be spiritually mature and talk about these wounds that we need to heal from. They love that. Does it mean it is right? No. We can love the wrong things, people. So love wisely. That is what I tell non-Africans when you throw that in my face. It doesn't mean that I love you. I love my children, but I correct them. If you love your children, you will correct them. And that's what this is right here. So please don't, don't come at me with, um, you know, I'm racist because I'm speaking on truth. I am the seed of my ancestors. This is what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to speak the truth. And if you're a light worker, that's what you're supposed to be doing as well. If you know about emotional trauma and you believe, you call yourself believing in this metaphysical, spiritual lifestyle, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You should be getting behind this too because our nation and our people both of our people need this. The Africans need to be healed from this. And you need to be healed. Because some of you, you, you let your ancestors take up. It's still there. 
Some of you, it's still there. And I just be like, oh my gosh, look at that. But they be all love. They'll, they'll, you know, all love. You know, I just trip out. But they be all love and stuff. You know, I just trips out that. But they be all love, you know. I, and then they'll flip on you like that. So I just be like, wow. You know, I have to be, keep it real. And I always keep it real. Uh, I am the child of my ancestors. And, uh... I'm trying, I'm healing our line. So when I speak the truth like that, I'm healing the line of my ancestors. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. When I speak, and that's what I want, because our ancestors need that. And that's why I speak. I speak the healer. I, I speak to heal. I don't open my mouth from not speaking to heal. And it might offend many. It might offend you. But so many more are being healed by what I'm saying. My people are being healed by what I'm saying. Because this is the truth. The truth heals. And it makes some angry. Especially if, if it's making you angry, that means you need to mature some more. You need to search inside some more. You need to search out, you know, when you try to ignore facts to make yourself feel good, you know, non-Africans look at that. Non-Africans look at that because I'm going to keep speaking this. Because that's light worker. If you're a true light worker... And you've been called to do something, and you know the com the the compel the uh the spiritual, you're com compelled spiritually to speak and to heal on certain things. You're gonna do that. You're gonna do that, and that's what I'm gonna do. That's what the ancestors lead me to do. So you know, I don't know what to tell you, uh, uh non-Africans. But what I would say to my Africans. Stay in your African line under your ancestors. Your spiritual birthright um, is your history. Because once we start, you know, African, you can trace back all your, your spirit. That's where your history is. When you start tracing your spiritual history, you're going to find out where your birthright is. That that's, that's your legacy right there. When you start connecting with your mind. And, and, and communicating, using your mind, communicating on a higher mind level. You're going to, you're going to understand that. So look into your history on that. You know, this alien stuff, this is not our history. This is, um, this is Eurocentric theology history that Madame Blavatsky, Al Alistair Crowley coined when they start creating new age. So, you know, um, learn what you can a little bit, you know, if it's going to be effective in your ancestral spiritual growth. Uh, connecting with your ancestors more because it's, it's some good information, some good new age information out there. But when it goes out the scope of your ancestral heritage and honoring your ancestors, please uh, make a choice to cut it off because it's not us. It, it cannot be scientifically proven. Uh, spirituality is a science. We mapped it down to a science. This is no spookism. Okay. So I hope this video helped uh, many of you. Uh, I didn't mean to be curt or harsh to anyone, but I want to be very open uh, and communicate thoroughly uh, with African minds because so many have been led astray uh, by this these these Eurocentric concepts or Eurocentric uh, theories of spirituality. So I want you to be careful out there when you're discovering yourself and you're awakening. Uh, try to find your roots and everything because all of it be uh, comes from us. So I hope this helped you. Light and love and may the ancestors be with you.